So let's go ahead and load the Freemail wizard. So click on Visual Cam and select Freemail. And now in this wizard, you can basically establish your cutting directions. I would like to have my z-axis normal to the base of the plate. I'll set my extents of the stock. I'm going to offset the stock in the z. Define my warp zero. I'll put it to the stock higher z in the southwest corner. Specify my cutting tool. So I'm going to use a ball mill for generating a tool path in here. And set my cutting feeds and speeds. You can specify all the parameters of the spindle speed, cut feed rate, engage and retract feed rates. And then I go to my create machining operations, specify the step over, and then pick generate. So the free mill allows you to create three axis uh, finishing tool path, like a parallel finishing tool path. And there's your tool path. You can also control the step over. And you can as well run the simulation as well. There's your part that's programmed and simulated in Freemill. And you can also post-process this out to your machine from the available list of over 200 plus post-processors that are included with the product. Now selecting post will allow you to write the G code. And I'm going to specify a file name for it. And I hit post. And there's your posted outbound. So the Freemill module allows you to import or model solid surface geometries, bring it into Visual CAD, and generate three axis toolpaths.